Okay, so today we're going to continue our review of pointers. And so to start with, uh, let's go ahead and consider this code. Okay, now we have a pointer called my pointer, and we want it to point to our array. Now what does this mean? It could actually mean several things. Most likely, it means that we want to create a pointer that will contain the memory address where our array begins. In other words, where the array resides in memory. And it would be used to then read one character of the array at a time. Now remember, an entire array is not stored in memory at a single memory address. Rather, it's going to span multiple memory addresses where each element of the array will be located at a unique memory address. So first of all, let's take a look at this. If I wanted to, I could write this line of code. Now look at what I'm doing here. I'm saying assign the pointer, which is called my pointer, a value. Because it's a pointer, that value has to be a memory address. And I'm just giving the name of the array. Why? Because my string is already understood by C to be a memory address. Any array name is seen as a memory address. More specifically, it is seen as the memory address of the start of the array. Now, another way that we can accomplish the same goal if we must insist on using the ampersand character is we could do this. Okay, we, we're going to use the ampersand character. That means the address of, well, the address of what? The address of the first character in the array, like this. The two lines of code are functionally the same. It's going to be the same memory address. In fact, I'll show that to you here. Take a look at this. So here we have a printf statement that is going to print the memory address of my string. And right under that, we'll have the memory address of the first element of my string. And when we run this program after actually turning it into a program, and you can see that the memory address is the same because we're talking about the exact same thing. So the name of the array is understood to be a memory address where the array begins, specifically the address of the first element. So this is this line of code right here is saying assign my pointer the memory address of the first character in the array my string. And it makes sense, right? If we wanted to set my pointer to be equal to the second character, we would write this. Same thing except now we are setting our pointer equal to the memory address of the second element of the array. Remember you start counting at zero. So the first element is zero, the second element is one, and so on. So keep in mind then that both of these two lines of code do exactly the same thing. Now you might be imagining that there is a third possibility here, which is what if we write this, where we're saying set my pointer equal to what appears to be the memory address of the array. Now, in fact, if I create a third printf statement and I show you the output of this, you'll notice it's the same memory address but they're not exactly the same thing. And in the next lesson, I'll explain the differences between this and these two. So, see you in the next lesson.